Hello, uh, my name's Steve Clark. I'm the director of TME, uh, and I just want to tell you a little bit about what the charity is involved with. Uh, some years ago, we realised that a lot of the world's population are living um, uncomfortable lives and lives that are too short, uh, really because they don't know some basic information to have a better life. So, what we've been trying to do is make uh, DVD discs like these. So, um, this particular one is on HIV and AIDS because a lot of people don't know how you can track HIV and AIDS. So, this particular disc tells them how to avoid getting infected. Uh, and it's targeted at the world's poorest people. So, uh, we're using these discs with uh, small portable DVD players. Uh, that cost about 60 to 75 pounds. They weigh about a kilo, they charge off a car battery uh, and can help people learn. So now this particular disc is in English but uh, we're putting them into all the languages of the world's poor and that's really what, what TME is about. So the problem is that most DVD pairs come with remote controllers that look a bit like this. They're uh, lots of buttons on them and the buttons are too small. So. We've had a lot of attempts at trying to make that simpler and we, our first attempt was this, but this was too expensive, it wasn't durable enough. Uh, and we're left now with the electronics that look a bit like this. So our objective for the week, for this particular task, is, is to design and create, uh, as you said, a housing for that. Now if we can achieve that, I think we could have a significant impact on the usability of this technology. We thought it would be used by one person so that one person would hold it, but actually what happens is you get a whole crowd coming round and it gets passed from person to person, so it needs to be able to be dropped, it needs to be sort of robust, but crucially the buttons need to be able to be pressed so that you know you've pressed it, so that when you press it you can feel a sort of a tactile response. And one of the problems with this was people weren't sure if they'd actually press the button or not. So you mentioned before um, that you're looking to roll this out in a number of different languages. Uh, roughly how many languages have you developed this technology in so far? At the moment we've got something in 31 different languages. Um, now in English we've got 28 lessons so we've got a total of 28 topics and most of those aren't in most of those languages but we've got something in, in, in more than 30 languages. So earlier we were talking about uh, the task which is to simplify this uh, remote controller and just to show you a few of our attempts, I showed you one earlier but this was our very first um, which we're very proud of because it was made out of wood and um, the, the, the wooden bits here actually you won't be able to see but probably just, just here if I hold it near the microphone probably here there's a little tactile switch underneath that bendy bit of wood and this was when we were connecting these to computers um, but massively too expensive, a brilliant bit of work, but not, not possible to replicate um, on a large scale. This one was our next version, and uh, this sort of base plate was um, formed in a kettle with resin, that's how it's sort of shaped like the bottom of the kettle. But again, it's, it's just too heavy, it's too complicated, it, it costs too much in terms of time and effort. As an example, I've got 300 DVD players arriving in Uganda in the next couple of weeks. And we could really do with 300 of these, but I have no way of making them simply because we can't mount the buttons. That's the challenge. 